CBS Tonight had a political satire show in Egypt with 30 million viewers until the government decided he shouldn't anymore. Please welcome Bassem Youssef. Bassem, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good to see you. That's an amazing crowd. They don't know that it's like, who the hell is this guy? And they're very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very friendly people. Yes, yeah, I know. Yeah. Now, I have first met you through our mutual friend, John Stewart. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm not the first to say people have sort of called you the John Stewart of Egypt. Yep. But now you're not in Egypt anymore. You're nope. here. Yeah. Did you come here to also open an animal rescue farm like John did? <laughs> That was the plan until I saw your elections. And so, like, yeah, I'm back in business, baby. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, you have lived under, you lived under an actual dictator. Oh, yeah. When you see Americans complaining about, like, the Obama administration being a dictatorship <laughs> or us falling into tyranny, <laughs> do we sound like babies to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I mean, we are used, like, we have dictators who stay in power for 30 or 40 years, and we call that, by the way, first term. And, uh, <laughs> And then, but it's, it's, it's predictable because you just have one election, elections, and he's there forever. Now you're... It's, it's, it's very cost-efficient. Yeah, you do it for every four years. This year is spending over like $7 billion, and you're ending up with Donald Trump. <laughs> they don't know. It could be. Does Trump... Do, is there anything familiar about Donald Trump to Other you? than being orange? Yes. Um, well, uh, uh, well, yes, uh, he... He kind of, I think he reminds people like me who come here and stay in America, they're like homesick for dictatorship, and he provides that. <laughs> and I, 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 I mean, what, I, what is it? Is that he's so sure of himself, or other than being a jerk? Yeah. Well, um, well, well. The thing is, it's the same echo chamber everywhere. It's like make America great again. Egypt is the greatest country of the world. We have the same exact rhetoric. And I was there in the one of his rallies and uh, at he, a Trump rally. Yeah, yeah, in, in somewhere in Georgia, and he was saying. Every, every thing that he said, people would cheer him. So, like, we're going to repeal Obamacare. Yeah, we're going to kill ISIS. Yeah. And then the biggest cheer came from this next statement. We're going to bring back Christmas. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> Is it Thanksgiving now? It was... Uh, uh, and, and, it, and it even it gets worse now as I'm is covering. There, is there an Islamic version of like you know uh, we're not paying enough attention to our religious holidays? Is there? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They think that it's always like you're not uh, you're not Arab enough, you're not Egyptian enough, you're not, you're not you're an infidel, you're not the same thing. You hear you're not American enough, you're not patriotic enough, you're not Christian enough. It's the same rhetoric, the same echo chamber. I was in the RNC and I was interviewing people, and they have this kind of a. Hidden racism. It's like, no, we don't have a problem with Muslims, but if you have a bowl of M&Ms and three of them were poisonous, you'd be careful. So now I'm a poisonous M&M. <laughs> uh, uh, no, they're just saying they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. You might be one of the delicious ones. Yeah. they don't know. They can try and lick me and see. <laughs> but, <laughs> If they do that, if they do that, they're not allowed to use the bathroom in North Carolina. So yeah, it's, uh, it's push or pull. It, 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 but what about Hillary Clinton? Is there anything familiar to someone who comes from like sort of a one-party system of a family sort of passing power back and forth? Does that seem familiar to very, you? It, yeah. It kind of like, but it's different. Here you run it from husband to wife. We kind yes. of like from a guy to his son to his grandson mm -hmm. to his cousin to his, uh, it's, a, it's like it's a family business, the same thing. Chelsea's coming along. Chelsea's yeah, coming know, along. She'll be there in just a little yeah. while. But, but you know, the only difference is that like, some, some places in the Middle East, we, we don't allow them to drive. So you guys went a long way, so thank you. <laughs> well, uh, now, your show is called? Democracy Handbook. Democracy Handbook. Yes. It's on Fusion. Yes. It's on Fusion and Fusion.net. Yes. And what are you doing? Is this like a, a, another version of a political satire show that yeah, you're doing? Yeah, it, it is kind of like, I'm telling you guys, I mean, you guys have a, a, a still a very healthy, body of a democracy. Uh, That's funny you should say that, because you're a doctor, right? Yes. So, as a doctor, my diagnosis for you is, like, you guys have a very healthy body of a democracy, except a very large orange mole on its ass. <laughs> and, uh, and, um... Interesting. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, this is CBS, so that's where I have to cut you off. <laughs> well, Basim Youssef, thank you so much. Thank you, Good luck you. with the show. Thank Democracy you. Handbook is now on Fusion.net. Check it out. Basim Youssef, everybody. We'll be right back.